So the consumer fraud is one of the areas that we, we've been involved in, both in class actions and individual cases, both prosecuting cases and defending uh, businesses in consumer fraud cases. One interesting case that we recently did was for one of the largest diamond wholesalers in the world. They got sued in a consumer fraud case here by a uh, lawyer who part of his strategy is to go publicize the case in the newspapers. And he printed the whole lawsuit in the newspapers. So we flipped that around on him and we sued him and his client or his client uh, for libel in federal court. And this, suddenly this case where our client was being humiliated in the lawsuit turned around and the, they, they had to drop the whole lawsuit after we flipped it on them and sued them for defaming our client uh, about this case. And, and we were able also to show that almost all the facts in the case were not true and received an apology letter from the plaintiff uh, as the uh, exclamation point to end the case. We also uh, represent for years in both class actions and individual cases, uh, consumers who have been cheated. One area we specialize is in suing uh, car dealers who might sell flooded vehicles and rebuilt wrecks uh, to consumers. And this summer, we just did an arbitration. A lot of the car dealer cases are by arbitration uh, via Zoom. And we were able to get uh, a client who had been cheated uh, $10,000 by a Ford dealer on a used Ford. We were able to get him not only all his money back, the $10,000 he was cheated, uh, that was the overcharge on the car, also $10,000 for aggravation and inconvenience. Uh, $60,000 in punitive damages, and then all our attorney's fees. And it's because we have so many years of experience and know so much about the car business and consumer fraud that we were able to achieve a result like that.